right. Thanks. Well, AI is here, and there's a good chance your kids are using it. Ryan Katane is here to share how some educators in Blunt County are embracing AI while navigating the challenges of the new technology. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. A recent data by Junior Achievement gives us a glimpse of how students feel about AI. 44% of the teenagers who were surveyed said they're likely to use AI on their schoolwork, and nearly half of them said that they have classmates or friends who've already utilized it for that reason. But how how or if AI should be used in educational settings is stirring up plenty of opinions, even within the walls of one Maryville school. Inside Maryville High School, America has now successfully pulled itself out of the Great Depression. History teacher Alex Oldham so teaches his students that, about our past. Lend, lease, act. While preparing them for the future. Kids are going to come out of the school and they're going to go into these different pr professions that are going to be using the internet, social media, now AI. So what's my job as a teacher? As a teacher, Oldham is embracing AI in more ways than one. The possibilities are truly endless with it. His students use tools like ChatGPT in the classroom. I'll have them, for example, maybe compose a speech using ChatGPT and then have them compose a speech individually. And he uses the technology to begin building his lesson plans. It gives me a good starting point for creating the assignment for the for the students. On your paper right now, fill in that definition with what I have on the screen here. Meanwhile, English teacher Rachel Rushworth Hollander approaches AI with some hesitation. It doesn't have a labeled place in my instruction or classroom. It's definitely part of the conversation. That conversation factors in critical thinking and decision making skills. She says are too important for students to lose. I know our English department, we've had a lot of talks about how does AI fit in writing because writing is such an important thing that we want our students to learn, not just for, you know, writing a good essay, but the thought process that comes with writing is so important. We fix it. In Joel Smith's science classroom. Under 1%. These well, engineering students are becoming more familiar with the technology. When I do my reports on projects, I sometimes put the words into ChatGPT and I ask it to guess. Lengthen it. 15 year old Parker Jensen used ChatGPT for the first time in this classroom. It is expected now for all the projects that they do that they utilize ChatGPT to help them if they get stuck, if they um, want to check the tone of their writing, if they want to check the formatting. World War II is a lot different. So if learning about the past can World prepare War us for the future, see. then just like with the calculator or the internet, some educators say the implementation of AI means it's time to raise the bar for effective education. Okay, so after I was done writing and editing my story, I got curious and I wanted to try GPT for chat GPT for myself. This is the prompt that I wrote. I said, write a broadcast news story about how artificial intelligence is used in schools. In about five seconds, you guys, it gave me an entire script. And here's a small excerpt. It said, in today's digital age, the traditional one size fits all model of education is giving way to a more personalized approach thanks to artificial intelligence. Intelligence. So again, that line was written by ChatGPT. And if you'd like to read the entire script that it was written by, you can go ahead and give the program yourself a try as well. You can visit WBIR to do that. Wow. That oh my is gosh. A freaky. It, it was kind of a nice crazy. lead into a story. I'll, I'll give it yeah. that. <laughs> Interesting. I know. I was like, uh, are you a better writer than I am? I hope not. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have a lot to learn, it yeah. sounds like.